Before we get this video started, let me make a call first. Beep boop bop beep bop. Hello, this is Nike.com. Hi, my name is Charlie and I would like to order a pair of Nike Air Jordans. One hour later. Come on. When is it here? I thought this was supposed to be express delivery. Like, what are you doing? Da -da 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 -da. A few minutes later. Yo, is this customer service? My name is Karen and I would like to speak to the manager Yo, right shut now. Up. This You're is so not annoying. how you deliver shoes, alright? You listen to what Stop I being say to Stop being Karen. Stop being Karen. But anyways, we're gonna talk about how durable custom shoes are, and I'm using this shoe because I was practicing with the airbrush and I don't like it. Uh, so I'll be using this as a sacrifice to show you guys to run some tests. Make sure to attend to uh his funeral, be like, you know, thank you so much for sacrificing, for being a test subject, for being a lab rat. You guys must be wondering, are your shoe customs like, you know, durable? Do they last long? Do the paint come off or something like that? You might be afraid to scratch off your art, but I'll, I'll do it just for your sake, okay? So let's get this video started real quick. Yeah, all right, test number one. I think it's quite durable, yeah. Yeah, if the paint doesn't come off if you do this, I say it's pretty durable, right? Hmm, are you durable as well? Test number two. Shoe. Okay, yeah, nah. I don't know why you would do that to your shoe. I don't know why I would do that to my shoe, but don't do that to your shoes, please. Like, test number two. Oh, no. We got a shoe and we got. Again, why would you do that to your shoes? Like, why? Like, why? Like, why? Wait, Shaman. Not no, it. Alright, on a serious note, let's just go over some of the basics, okay? In order to make your custom shoes durable, like painting a solid color or whatever color on your shoe, you gotta make sure that you paint at least three to four layers of paint over it. But before you even paint the paint, you gotta use acetone or nail polish remover to remove the gloss that's already on your shoe. That way the paint will actually stick on the shoe, right? So after you've done that, you paint three to four layers of paint and that should be good. But is it true? There are tons of tutorials where artists recommend, you know, painting three to four layers, four to five layers of paint, and then you use like some matte finishers. What about this? Right now over here, uh, I painted four layers of paint right here. I prepped the leather and everything. I did not put any protector or finisher. So how durable is this? Why don't we do a test? This is the actual official test number one. Let's aim the camera down right here. I currently have some, uh, ugh, some, uh, fingernails okay so for example what if your friend decided to kneel down and scratch your shoe all of a sudden like just out of nowhere but look the paint is not coming off and like literally you can see my finger tensing right now the paint is not coming off check out the blue it literally does not come off i'm scratching as hard as i can all right we know that using your regular fingernails even if your paint is not protected, you can scratch it and it's not gonna come off. And that is only after you painted four layers, right? At least four layers. What if you painted less layers? All right, over here, um, for these areas, I use the airbrush. So uh, there's a gradient color. It looks nice and stuff like that, but there are not much layers of paint, two layers perhaps. And I'm gonna uh, scratch it. So after I scratched it, check this out, this white, part over here this 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 dot um the paint came off yep all right pause for a bit commercial brand you know advertisement i'm kidding uh, i'm not i'm not sponsored in any ways but i use a paint called angela's leather paints they are made so that the paint will actually stick to leather shoes like these and the paint is flexible so that you know even when you bend your shoes it's not gonna crack all right back to the original schedule let's say your friend decided to pull up with a switchblade and decide to Cut your shoe. Four layers of paint. Okay, so I do see some paint coming off. So next time, if your friend suddenly comes up to you and decides to take a blade and you know scrape on your shoe, make sure to get away from that friend. You know. But what about if your friend decides to take his keys and key your shoes? All right, you have to key right here, and you go. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Okay, try harder. I'm actually trying really hard right now. It is not coming off. 
All right, in another situation, you, you know, you're walking down the street, you know, on the sidewalk and stuff like that, and suddenly you accidentally hit the curb or a rock. And what will happen to your shoe, right? I'm gonna take this thing right here. The sharpness and the roughness can be similar to a rough concrete surface. And let's just try to do something about it. Oh my, look at this. Yeah, I think this is a pretty hard kick to the cement or rock because this looks pretty rough. So yeah, it's best advised for you to not kick a curb or to try to scratch your shoes on cement or rock. If you guys are wondering if water would ruin your shoe, it's not going to ruin your shoes. It's literally waterproof. So if you guys are doing some really detailed custom like this right here, very detailed, right? And if you guys haven't watched the custom for this one right here, then make sure to hit the uh, the link up here, I think. But you know, feel free to scratch it. Like, it's not gonna come off. But you must be wondering, you can't possibly paint four layers of detailed lines, like, you know, the eye, the face, uh, other lines and stuff like that. They're just way too thin and way too hard to go over four layers right so once those paint come off as well well let me answer this for you guys as long as you have painted the base layer four layers or five layers then you should be fine any other paint that you paint on top of it it's gonna stick on your base layer it's gonna be merged with your base layers so it's not gonna you know come off that easily even if you try to scratch it but in the end of the day don't overdo it it still paints and that's why you had to put the matte finisher i basically put like five layers of matte finishers on these babies so that the paint won't come off by having five layers of acrylic matte finisher on your shoes on the paint it's gonna make your shoes even more durable than it already is like the paint itself so you know in this shoe i did some tests regarding scratching and scraping on the raw paint itself and it's still a little bit hard to get them off to be honest even with the scratches it's not gonna peel the whole paint off but yeah your shoes are basically fine because as long as you follow the proper procedures of customizing shoes the paint is gonna stay the paint is gonna stay if you guys enjoyed this video hit that like button if you find it useful hit that like button and subscribe to my channel turn on that notification because i'll be uploading more videos wait just 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 wait 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 i got this whole ass portrait canvas whatever and i'm about to paint on it i'm about to put on my wall and i want it to look as cool as possible so if you guys have any ideas let me know in the comments down below as well and subscribe to my channel so you can actually you know know when i'm gonna paint on this big canvas i'll see you guys next time